11, Misao Tanyama. Number four, Stephanie Mercado. 17, Mick Mick Laborte. Number one, Shinako Tanaka. And number six, Z Hervasho. Your starting libero, number nine, Marie Michelle Grace Del Rosario. Head coach, Coach Villette Ponce de Leon. And now, your starting lineup for the Cagayan of the Rising Sun. Starting with number 17, Juanita Cotruang. Number one, April Jose. Number 10, Sandra De Los Santos. 14, Pachare Sansmua. Number 8 and team captain, Isa Fontanellas. Number 4, Paulina Soriano. Libero, number 13, Janeline Reyes, head coach. Coach Ness Pamilar. And this is exactly what the fans have been waiting for. For our first match to begin. At bago yun, may mga pinamimigay yeah. na mukhang mga stress balls ata yan. Alam mo naman yung interaction ng ating mga players. And of course, itong ating uh, viewers inside the San Juan Arena. Yan yung nakakatawa eh. And throughout the years, I think uh, the fan base has already been established. That's why further development and uh, avenues for these athletes to be able to deliver what they have and showcase their talent. Yan ang hinahanap ng ating mga atleta. As you can see, both these squads immediately parading their two imports. Eh, siyempre, nandiyan ako, siyempre. Che, pigay mo na. <clears throat> Totoo yan. Eh, Lalong-lalo na, hindi naman kahabaan itong ating uh, conference. You want to jumpstart your campaign. And these are two teams that made it all the way to the semifinals. They were only a step away from uh, progressing to the finals. And that's why, uh, why not shoot for the moon, ika nga, for Coach Ness Pamilar and Villette Ponce. De First to serve, Gretchen. Gretchen Holt to get us going here for the Grand Prix. Let's see where they go. They go outside once again, very quickly. Whereas before she was towering, talking about Nick Nick Laborte, a long time uh, member of the national team. Ayon, she has a lot to uh, contend with, but she wins that first battle at the net. First point of the conference going to Petron. Gretchen out to serve once again. Where does Cagayan go? To the middle. Expected that time by Petron. Sang Wang once again blocked. Twice they've gone to her. To talk about power hitters and good floor uh, defenders. But if there's someone who is very smart, sa kanyang uh, mga diskarte yan ay si April Jose. First point off the first set, courtesy of April Jose, on deck to serve likewise for the Rising Suns. Not the best of receptions. They're going to have to just get this over. And they almost scored. Offensive thrust on the outside. That is stopped. Michael. It's in a good game. From what we've seen sa ating uh, dalawa, tatlong uh, palitan, eh, makikita natin dito, the battle at the net throughout the conference. Let's see whose point that last exchange will go to. The Rising Suns with two straight points. Only 2-1 advantage over the boosters. That's clearly out. You can just imagine that uh, the level for our athletes right now. Anthony, 
pag ganito kapuno yung uh, arena, eh, alam mo, ganadong-ganado ang ating mga players. Especially after that grand opening that we had earlier. Tama nga sabi mo, ibang class talaga yung ating opening ceremonies. May eh, female DJ pa tayo, ha? Pano yung bayo, eh? <laughs> Pero wala na. Kala ko, eh, magiging staple yun. At least para sa sabong araw na to, para mas maganda yung mga tugtog natin sa gitna ng ating mga puntos. Pero wala na. Action na daw talaga yung magdadala sa ating ngayon. That might be long. Ito ang going to the outside. And the defense of Cagayan holding. And this was exactly what we mentioned at the top of the coverage. A lot of defenders formed by Coach Nes Pamilar sa kanyang roster, aided by the two outside hitters who will serve as the reinforcements for the Rising Suns. That's a tremendous serve. They keep it in play. It's going to be a free ball para sa Cagayan. Soriano. Doesn't get that to go. We got another opportunity. Back set. And once again, floor defense. Excellent for the Rising Suns. Able to stop and then able to finish. As Isa Maiso continues to be at the peak of her game. Three-point advantage right now for the Suns. Look at that serve. Tusok na tusok. That's an ace para dito. Okay, De Los Santos. I think that Santa De Los Santos is exactly in the same level na itong sila Din Din Santiago. Hindi siya gaano ka flashy pero ang kusay at kompletong kompleto. Tatang, a little bit too much strength. Two service errors by Cagayan enabling Petron to produce their third point of the first set as Panay Mercado steps up to the deck for Petron. Go up the middle. Sang Muang is dug. Ibang class talaga yung depensa na pinakikita ng Cagayan. That time it goes through. And Petron with a point. That's threading the needle. One of the best points of the first set para dito sa Petron. Understanding na kailangan ilihis nila. At hindi pwedeng idiretso basta-basta. Ay sa Maiso. Alam naman natin kung gano'ng kahusay dumipensa pagdating sa net. utak talaga nito si Maiso. Yes. Anticipating that Laborte and Nervasio were there to cover. Look at the hang time move of Isa Maiso. A drop shot against two blockers. The Rosario not able to produce the tell from the back row. Great defense. They go outside. Yun naman naman yung lakas ng Kotron. Lakas. Ang lakas talaga. And this time, Hervasho timed it well, preventing the Suns to, who were trying to head into the first technical timeout. The two reinforcements of Cagayan also inside. One is 36 years old, the other only 23. So Japan naman may 30, or rather sa Petron may 35 at 36 years old. The reinforcements ang kanilang tangan. Kotroang again. Look at that. Talaga iniwasan yung mga blockers. Scores a point in the back. And that will bring us to our first technical timeout. So far, nangingibabaw ang Cagayan, 8-5.